So we're, we're, we're always trying to figure out ourselves what, what can we do? I mean, I, I struggle with that too. I don't know what everybody should do, uh, except oppose it any way you can. I remember somebody contacting me from Japan and asking, well, what can I do? And I, well, I have to find out, well, who are you and what do you do? Well, I'm a school teacher. I teach in Osaka. Oh, okay. How about if you got your students to go to Tai Chi and buy the dolphin meat and test it? You'll see that it's full of mercury. And then lobby the Minister of Food Safety, Minister Noda was her name then, and get a warning label on the can of dolphin meat or the package of dolphin meat and cut off the demand. Japanese people are not going to buy the product if they if they knew that the dolphin meat was contaminated with mercury. Japanese people are more concerned about clean food than we are in the West. They just don't have access to information any more than the people who are buying this Etika product and are killing dolphins and they're totally unaware of it. So that, that's, that's one thing. So it's a, it, it sounds like a very simple answer. What can I do? And I have a magic wand and I give it to you. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, we would have shut this down already if we knew the answer. <coughs> Just do everything you can do. Go to the website and get the information, and uh, maybe you can figure out some new method. But I think one thing is also clear, and that's the reason why we get involved as an organization. I mean, I'm the founder of Safe Wildlife Conservation Fund. We have uh, global projects for conservation. And we think one of the main problems is also the overfishing and the poisoning of the, of the oceans. So if you want to change something, especially also for the dolphins at the end, eat less fish. <laughs>